server CPUs don't get nearly as much attention as gaming processors, but Intel's new Xeon scalable processors are a big deal. The new Xeons are a big change for Intel as for the first time rather than having multiple sub-brands such as E5 for dual socket servers and E7 for quad socket servers, all the new CPUs are branded Xeon scalable. Under the bonnet, however, there are substantial differences between the various Xeon scalable processors. For instance, there are still models that only support dual CPU and some that scale up to four or eight sockets. These are differentiated by color, scaling from bronze through to silver, gold, and up to platinum, and a four digit number as you add in features such as socket support, cores, and frequency. For instance, the most basic Xeon scalable is a bronze 3104, while the flagship model is a platinum 8180. Whichever model you choose, all Xeon scalable processors are based on the new Skylake SP architecture, where the SP stands for scalable performance. While Skylake SP shares the same 14 nanometer manufacturer process as existing Broadwell EP and EX CPUs, there are a number of significant improvements in terms of raw performance and I.O. For instance, Skylake SP adds support for AVX512 instructions, which are an extension SIMD, which previously was only supported by Xeon Phi processors. AVX512 should really help complex workloads such as HPC and data analytics. In addition, just like Skylake X, in Skylake SP, the various levels of cache have been reorganized, shifting away from the trend of a small level two cache per core and a large shared level three cache in favor of a much larger level two cache and a smaller level three cache. Similarly, Skylake SP also has the new mesh interconnect inside the CPU that consumes less power and has lower latency than the old ring interconnect. Skylake SP goes one step further by replacing the old QPI links between the CPU sockets with a new UPI link, which is 45% faster. Skylake XP also marks Intel's first CPU with more than quad-channel memory, with a new six-channel memory controller, boosting memory bandwidth by over 50%. Finally, the PCIe controller has been given an upgrade, going from 80 lanes in Broadwell EP to 96 lanes in Skylake SP. All this new architecture, especially the additional memory channels and PCIe lanes, necessitated a much bigger CPU socket. The monstrous LGA3647, which is the same as used by socketed Xeon Phi processors. This is accompanied by a raft of new motherboard chipsets, the C62X series with various features. However, all the new chipsets support multiple 10 GB Ethernet ports, the first time Intel has provided this natively in the chipset, plus a further 20 PCIe lanes. The Xeon SP CPUs themselves scale up to 28 cores, a noticeable increase on the 22 core limit of the last generation of Xeons. For this video, we tested a pair of Xeon Gold 6154s, which run at 3 GHz and have 18 cores, and is intended to replace the existing Xeon on E5 2698 V4, which run at 2.2 GHz with 20 cores. The new Xeon scalable CPUs proved incredibly quick at 3D rendering, with the pair of 6154s completing the Cinebench R15 test with a score of 5805, which is a magnificent 36% faster than the older 2698 V4s. Skylake SP marks the biggest advance in performance, bandwidth, features and I.O. for an Intel server platform in several generations and is hugely significant. The server CPU market is certainly going to be much more interesting than it has for several years. Scan supplies the full range of Intel Xeon SP processors plus custom-built servers built by 3XS Systems, which are trusted and used by companies of all sizes and in government and education.